Energy from the sun powers almost all life on Earth. The source of the sun's energy is nuclear fusion, the fusing of hydrogen into helium. Since nuclear fusion reactions produce more energy than any existing energy source, the governments of the world have been trying since the 1950s to bring fusion down to Earth, to create a fusion energy generator. But none have succeeded, despite billions of dollars in funding. Frustrated with this slow progress, many scientists and green energy supporters have in the past decade decided to do something about it by trying different approaches. We at LPP Fusion are researching and developing a focused fusion device that is small and cheap. It will produce power that is far cheaper than any existing energy source. We call our technology Focus Fusion. Focus Fusion is powered by hydrogen and boron fuel, also called PB11, which produces no neutrons. This means no radioactive nuclear waste, so Focus Fusion is clean and safe for the environment and for all life on the planet. There is zero pollution, so the whole ecosystem can finally detox from the industrial pollution that has been poisoning our environment for centuries. So why do we need a new source of energy? Why nuclear fusion? Many recent natural disasters have left Americans without power for weeks or months. But to a quarter of the world population, a blackout is a way of life. At home, we are financially stressed over high cost of living, education, and healthcare related debts. On average, we spend one-third of our incomes on all of our energy needs, and when natural disasters hit, we often face long blackouts, homelessness, and bankruptcies. Even when weather conditions are normal, our outdated electrical grids represent a national security weakness for squirrel and hacker attacks alike. Grid repair and maintenance can cost hundreds of billions. The grid aside, all of the energy sources combined today are simply not enough to support our current energy consumption levels. To keep up with our growing energy demands, energy production would have to triple. Historically, our main sources of energy have been coal, oil and gas. Their energy comes from fossilized plants and animals from millions of years ago. It had been captured from the sun by plants through photosynthesis and then cycled through endless food chain and biogeochemical cycles, ultimately forming fossil fuels. Therefore, fossil fuels are an indirect derivative of the energy from the sun. We are burning through them thousands of times faster than it took them to form. They continue to poison all life in our biosphere, causing high human and wildlife mortality. This is why the popularity of solar, wind and hydropower is on the rise today. They get their energy from the sun more directly than fossil fuels. But they are even more expensive than fossil fuels that have drained the economy of trillions of dollars. In addition, they are too reliant on unpredictable weather. Their energy is often wasted unless batteries are attached to store it. So, what are some benefits of Focus Fusion? Let's look at them one by one. First, PB11 stands for hydrogen boron, where P is a hydrogen proton. Both hydrogen and boron are found everywhere. Hydrogen comes from water and there is enough boron in sea salt and soil to last for billions of years. It is easily accessible, no searching, no expensive drilling and no poisonous fracking. Hydrogen boron, or PB11, is a continuous source of energy. It does not depend on weather like solar and wind power. Second, PB11 has highest energy density, more energy per gram than any other energy source. 5 kilograms of this fuel can supply 5 megawatts of power for a whole year. It has 200 times the energy density of uranium and a million times the energy density of oil. This will eliminate oil spills and the need for costly and environmentally dangerous fuel distribution networks such as oil pipelines and tankers. Third, Focus Fusion is safer and cleaner than any existing energy technology because it will create no pollution. Hydrogen boron reacts to produce harmless and useful helium gas. 
dangerous production and storing of radioactive waste is completely eliminated. The amount of fuel reacting at any instant is tiny, so there is no possibility of meltdowns as in nuclear fission. Fourth, the focus fusion generator will convert power directly to electricity from X-rays and ion and electron beams without going through expensive 100 years old steam and water turbine technology. In addition, because PB11 is continuous energy supply source, no batteries are needed like with solar or wind energy sources. Fifth, because of direct conversion to electricity and because the fuel produces no destructive neutrons, a focus fusion generator can be far smaller and cheaper, cheaper than hydro, oil, coal and gas facilities. It is small enough to fit in a garage. Solar and wind generators that supply the same power are far larger and therefore more expensive. Sixth, focus fusion power will be decentralized with small independent generators making long distance power grids obsolete. This will eliminate massive blackouts completely. Simultaneous catastrophic collapses of centralized electricity, gasoline and oil networks as happened in New York after Sandy and in Puerto Rico after Hurricane Maria could never happen again. In summary, focus fusion power will be cheaper, cleaner and safer than any existing energy source. Cheaper energy leads to a better life. Money now used for oil costs could be reallocated for better schools, sustainable housing, organic farming and better infrastructure. The existing plasma torch technology would be cheap enough to destroy all industrial pollutants and garbage before they enter our environment. Finally, with power so cheap, resource wars may end altogether. So, is fusion still 30 years away? Why don't we have fusion yet? The key reason is that government projects have focused for 40 years on a single extremely expensive approach, the tokamak. That was an unwise and very premature decision when no one knew what was the best route to fusion. People ask us, how can a small firm like ours succeed when the big government projects have failed so far? The answer is that we use the natural instabilities of plasmas to our advantage instead of fighting them like most other researchers. LPP Fusion has achieved rapid advances in fusion yield over the last few years with only $6 million in funding compared with billions in government-funded research projects over the last 60 years. There are three steps to make fusion a reality, and we've already achieved two of them. We've achieved the highest confined ion energy of any fusion device in the world, equivalent to temperatures 200 times hotter than the center of the sun. And we are number two in the race to produce more energy out of our device than goes into it. We've published our results in peer-reviewed journals, and we are way ahead of many projects with billions behind them way ahead of any other privately financed fusion project. A former director of the U.S. Fusion Energy Program, Dr. Robert Hirsch, chaired a committee of researchers who confirmed that our project deserved a much higher level of investment based on their considerable progress to date. Our work is being aided by our new collaboration with the Center for Energy Research of the University of California, San Diego, and with fusion researchers around the world. The money we raise will go to hire more researchers to speed us to our current goal, getting more energy out of the device than we put in. After that will come engineering development, turning a lab device into a working prototype generator that can be mass produced within a decade. Many revolutionary technologies that we take for granted today have been developed by small groups of persevering researchers. To get clean fusion energy, someone needs to fund the research. That someone is you. The governments of the world are too busy funding their military might. The clean energy revolution has started. It's up to us to complete a shift over the truly sustainable way of life.